right, we have Sarah Horbakowitz here. Now, Sarah, I went to an SEC school. Tyler's covered the Hogs for a really long time. You went to a liberal arts school in New York. You're from New York City, and you know, no offense to any New Yorkers, but SEC football's not really big up there. This, this is, was an experience for you. This was unlike anything I've ever been to. Obviously, you see, by the end of the day, I've gone full hog fan. I got my foam finger, my sweatshirt. The THV veil has kind of come down here. Um, so I know it was a tough loss. It really was a hard day, that emotional roller coaster. But I talked with a lot of fans, and they were saying, no one here is a fair weather fan. They're just here for the hogs, thick or thin. Arkansas students were sleeping all through the night. We had somebody from 4.30 to 6.45, 6.45 to 10, 10 to 1, so everyone's kind of spaced out. No fair weather fans. 100% Razorbacks all the way through. Always. So are you kidding me? Look at the fans out here today. Just game day hype. Tailgaters came too, just as proud as they seem. We're big hog fans, have kids that go here, um, trying to still live through them. And calling the hogs for these matched up teams. Ooh, pig, silly, Razorbacks. <laughs> While the game didn't go as Razorbacks planned. They almost pulled it out. They, they came back from 28 to zero and got up to 28-23. So close. To come back within five points, I mean, this team is fighting. I mean, they've got the pieces. We just got to put it all together. In Pittman, they trust. Pittman so. 2024. History's in the making. Sam Pittman's got us rolling, and KJ's going to put the team on his back. The stands fully manned. Fans of all ages came by. When did you first learn to call the hogs? Do you remember? 1975, yes. And Woo Pigs, what they said. A bam, a Woo Pig. So no matter the scoreboard, instead of rolling tide, we saw a wave of Razorback Red. As Sarah, it's safe to say from the getup that you've been fully converted now to a hog fan. There's no objectivity. This isn't news. I don't use news boring. No objectivity on Hog Zone. We all know who we're rooting for in the state of Arkansas. And it was, I'll be honest, it was fun watching the press box. When things got loud, they get real loud here at Razorback Stadium. Oh, they get real loud. And I mean, hear that. <laughs> but even in the stadium, it was loud. Sierra actually recorded my reaction to my first hog call. She in kept the Razorback looking stadium. back like, I couldn't believe it. I just, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but in a good way, in the best way. It was just so many people. I never thought I would see this many people for one team for something like this. And it was just such a great experience. I'm ready to come back for more. You have, you have to pick one thing as a favorite for your first game day experience in Fayetteville. I get one thing. Putting you on the spot. I don't know. Yeah, on the spot here, Tyler. Honestly, I want to say the tailgaters. Every tailgater we ran into that was cheering our name, telling us to come by, they were offering us food. They were just so excited to be here, teaching me the ways of how to be a hog fan at a game day. And I think just that kind of accommodation was really, really something I appreciated. I think that'll boost everyone's morale after that loss. and. What can cure the down, Debbie Downers or being sad after a loss is another win. Hogs will hope to get that next week when they take on Mississippi State. We'll talk about that a little bit more coming up.